Welcome to this tutorial by shmillinery.etsy.com. We are making a child's poke bonnet, a vintage style hat, very pretty. And this is the hat that we'll be making. First of all, you will need your fabric for the outer of the hat. I'm using a UK fat quarter, which is approximately 21 inches by 18. You will also need lining fabric. Now for this, I'm just using plain white, but you could use a contrasting or toning fabric. You will also need a piece of light to medium weight iron-on interfacing, approximately four inches by 21. Plus, of course, the pattern, which can be found in my Etsy shop to download. You'll also need thread, pins and scissors, and a meter of ribbon for the ties. First off, we're going to fold the right sides together of the fabric and put it along the long edge so that we've got a folded over rectangle. And then we lay our pattern pieces out. You'll notice that two of the pattern pieces are placed on the fold as you're cutting only one of fabric. So this is the bonnet crown, the main body of the hat. And this is the brim. Now it suggests that you cut two in the fabric, but to make things easy for you while watching this tutorial, I'm cutting one in the fabric and I'm going to cut one in the lining as a contrast. Now for the main body, you only need one pattern piece. So once you've cut your first two pieces, open it out and cut your bonnet. Then you'll need to do exactly the same again with your lining fabric. Now, as I said before, you either have two bonnet pieces in the fabric or one in the fabric and one in the lining. Then you will also need to cut your bonnet brim out of the interfacing on the fold again. So I have all my pieces cut out. I have one each of each pattern piece plus a piece of interfacing cut for the bonnet brim. Take your main fabric for the bonnet brim, place right side down, Put your interfacing on the top and iron in position. When using iron on interfacing, it can have a tendency to wander. So you can move it about while you iron in position and always leave it to cool. If you do not, the glue won't set and it will come apart again. Then take the main body of the hat, fold in half, Pin at the back to mark the centre on the back and the main body. Once pinned, we're now going to match these up with the right sides of the fabric together. Match your two pins, pin the fabric together And then going around the edge, again, match up the fabric, pinning and tacking if required. You will need to ease the fabric as of course you're putting a straight edge onto a curved. So pin both sides until they match, again easing as you go. Once 
Once these two are pinned together, you can see the body of the hat starting to take shape. We're now going to sew these two pieces together. When sewing a straight line to a curve, you're best off having your most curved piece uppermost and easing again as you go. Although I tend to sew over pins, it's not recommended if you're a new sewer, so I suggest you tack first. If you are sewing over pins, use a big enough stitch and stop at the pin to help. Again, ease the fabric as you go, because again you are sewing to a curve and it is more difficult. But as with most hats, there are a lot of curves involved. Once you've sewn these two pieces together, trim any loose threads and then trim the seam to about half its width, checking inside that you haven't caught the fabric and made pleats. If you have, you may have to re-sew. So trim about half the way all the way around. Now you've got two pieces joined together, we're going to take the interfaced brim. Again, fold in half to find your centre line and mark with a pin. We're using the curved edge but not the very curved edge. <laughs> Again, fold the hat main body over, find your centre line, mark with a pin and we're going to attach these two together, right sides of fabric together. So get your brim, put your two pins together and start pinning around the brim. Matching up all the way to the end. The nice thing about this hat is you can do contrast brims and different types of fabric. Once it's all pinned in place, we are going to sew this long seam. So, back to the sewing machine. Once it's been sewn in place and the edge trimmed, we now do exactly the same as before, but with the lining. In effect, we're making two hats. So we have the lining hat and the main body of the hat, all stitched together and trimmed. Turn the main body inside out so that you have both right sides of fabric facing. We're going to pin and stitch, but we need to leave a gap for turning the hat inside out. So at the very back edge, leave a gap between the two seams. But then pin all the way around and we're going to join these edges. Once it's pinned, we're going to stitch the hats together, again leaving the gap at the back. So we start either side of the back seams.
Stitch carefully following the curves. All these patterns have a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and I'm lucky that that's marked on my sewing machine foot plate. But if you haven't got it marked, you may need to do tacking or mark with a fabric pen. Once the brim is stitched, cut off any loose threads and again trim the seam to about half its width. Don't trim at the back edge where you've left it open because you'll need this to fold in. Using that gap, turn the hat right side around. We are now going to press the brim edge. Fold and press neatly. Once it is, we're going to stitch in the gap at the back. So fold over the edges, pin neatly or tack and then stitch along the gap to make the hat complete. When you've stitched, make sure that you have caught both edges in at the end. Trim the threads and check. For the final touch, we're going to stitch the lining of the brim to the main body of the brim, which means stitching in the ditch. It means we're going to sew a thread line along the seam of the brim. So flatten the hat completely mark where you will be stitching and check either side of the hat that you're stitching in the correct place. It's not very easy to see on this fabric. So I want to stitch along the seam line here and join the two pieces together. Once you've checked and it seems good, stitch in the ditch. And then our hat is practically finished. We just need to add our ribbon ties. So here's our hat, all stitched and ready to go. Taking our metre of ribbon, we are going to cut it in half. I'm then going to cut the other ends into a nice V shape, just for aesthetics. Now we don't want the ribbon to fray, so taking a lighter, we melt the very edge of the ribbon quickly with the lighter. This only works with polyester. This doesn't work with natural fibres, obviously. So once you've melted the edges so that they don't fray, we're going to fold over roughly an inch of the ribbon We're going to do a double fold. So an inch fold over just behind the brim edge, pin 
and stitch. So we've stitched with the machine. Then do the same again, adding another little loop. So pin and stitch again. Just add some more decorative effect. So here's our hat finished. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have lots of fun making. You can turn the brim back or forward. The pattern can be found in my Etsy shop and I can be found on Instagram and Facebook as SHMiller.